welcome back. It's another lady of the house kind of day. It's a different day for me to be filming because I usually don't film on the weekends, but today is Sunday and we already went to worship service today. And I have my dad coming into town tomorrow. He is at a rocket launch right now with a couple of his work partners and they're going to be coming into town on their way back to Utah. So um, I just invited him to come over. Funny story, I thought today was Father's Day. So I tell him Happy Father's Day. I ask him about, you know, when will he be coming through town because I want to have him over. And um, my mom and I both thought it was Father's Day. So she left some gifts for my grandfather. And, and then my daughter comes running out as I'm about to head to the store to get some things for making breakfast. And she said, today is not Father's Day, it's next week. So I was like, are you sure? Like I had to Google it and I don't know why I was thinking. Maybe all of the different, um, all the emails that I've been getting about best thing, best gifts for dad, or I don't know what it was, but I was mistaken. So it kind of, it was a relief. And I also told him today isn't Father's Day. It's actually, you know, next week. So. We just had a good laugh about that, but um, I told him the offer still stood if he would like to come over on their way through town, and so he said that would be great. So it'll be about 11, between 11 and noon when they get here. So tonight, I would like to go make sure that I have everything to make breakfast or brunch, let's call it brunch. Um, and then I also want to make sure that my house is just ready today and that way I can focus on other things tomorrow. So I'm also going to be going out of town and I'm going to need to prep my shop for vacation mode. That seems kind of weird. I'm going to be putting it on vacation mode. And by the time this video goes out though, it should be off vacation mode. Um, that way I can receive orders, but there will be some time where I'm not going to be here, so I'm not going to be able to do that. But um, other than that, I want to just kind of get my house in order, feel good about the week to come. I have some planning that I must do for making sure that, you know, we're going to be packed and we're going to have everything that all the work that I need to make sure is going to be done. Well, I'll have plenty of time to do those things. That way I can really enjoy myself when we go because that's one thing I don't want to have to do when I'm gone is doing all the work and stuff. I really want to be completely present with my family and with our friends. Um, we are just so excited. We're doing something different than we would typically do. We like to usually go camping around this time of year, but a group of our friends, they're not uh, one of the families, they're not going to be going this year. So we decided just to rent an Airbnb with um, a family and then with my brother and my sister-in-law. So that should be a lot of fun and um, something to look forward to. So a lot of things to do before then. And I look forward to taking you along with me. This is the dress that I wore to worship service today, but I will definitely be changing out of it so that I can um, be in something a little bit more comfortable to do housework in. Um, this is a sheath dress, which is not a dress that I would recommend doing housework in. Um, and it's a new color for me. I didn't have this color in my wardrobe, but as I had said in the past, I really wanted to start adding some purples and lavenders to my wardrobe. And so when I saw this one, I thought, this one, this is really nice. I like it. So um, anyway, on to some housework. Welcome to my room, which I have yet to even make my bed this morning, but I had cleaned out a lot of the bins that were up here to make way for new dresses for my shop and so there are things that I'm going to need to pack away and these these right here definitely need to pack away and then I got a new steamer right here so I need to um, get the extra parts out of that box throw that box away and just you know tidy things up but before we do that let me share with you this dress before I take it off and put something else on. so here is the sheath dress that i am wearing today i really like this dress as i said and i like that it's not 
thick and tight through the whole thing so there is some space for movement but um I'm speaking as I am because I have a little one sleeping right now um anyway yes I need to get everything in order I need to put the all those dresses away and put them up on top here which is where I've been storing all of the new dresses that I am going to be selling but um, first and foremost let's get changed out of this and into something a bit more appropriate for housework. lifted off my shoulders because whenever you walk into your bedroom especially where you're going to be laying your head at night I think that it has an added level of stress if it is not nice and neat because you know that you can't go there to relax so even if it's at the end of the day but you still have several hours before you're going to be going to bed I would suggest just giving your room a nice little cleanup make your bed so that it's nice to go into that space in when it's bedtime so we still have probably i don't know four hours before we are going to be going to sleep so it's just those are four hours that i can waste feeling really down because of this space or i can just make the needed decisions to clean up some of those areas that have been lacking for a while and get it done, get it out of the way and just feel really great. So number one tip, where do you start? You start in your bedroom because I just think that that's the most important place. You lay your head there at night, you wake up there in the morning and I feel that that is the way that you are going to begin your day and end your day. So um, always start in your bedroom. 
that's just my little two cents. It works for me and I feel good. And um, I hope that that helps you for those of you who just sometimes feel really overwhelmed. Make sure that your room is, is looking good. Make sure that your room is first and foremost. You also may have noticed that I turned on the lamps. I have my sconces on. The dressing room has the light on. It's kind of dimmed right now. I think I can dim it a little bit more. Yeah, it's not even dimmed. So that's a good, a good uh, level right there. And then that light is on as well. And as the sun starts going down, it'll feel really nice to walk back into this space. As, far as laundry goes, I have some towels that I wanted to wash today. So that is just refreshing right now. They should be done in seven minutes and then I'll fold those. I also have a clean tablecloth that I would like to put on the table. Things in here that need to be put away. So um, some of the things that I took out of my room, I just brought right over here instead of going all the way over to where it needed to go this was kind of like my catch-all area um, you know just for distributing things so I still need to do that um, so that's what I'm going to focus on is just putting everything away that I have in my um, kitchen and then I also want to water the plants on the back deck it's not the best time to do it I already watered some this morning but I just need to because it's so windy that it really dries out the plants fast and then probably put some of these orders together before I end up going out to gather the things that I need. Um, I don't have my floors done or anything yet, but I'll just wait on that until later. So just some desk work right now, maybe a little bit of planning and then more things, but I've kind of just been going nonstop. So time it's a good time to take a little bit of a break. It's almost 8 a.m. and it's not the next day, it's the day after the next day. So my dad was here with his partners from work and they, we just had a really great time when they came over and we visited and um, 
even my mom came over and it was just a good good time and so I'm in the process of making breakfast right now that is my dryer not yours um, and I also have a lot of work to get done today before I go to my cousin's house and then we also have a movie night we're going to be seeing Top Gun with our friends so I just have so much to do I got these wonderful wonderful magazines right here and I'm really looking forward to going through them and um, this is the notebook quarterly and um, I got the spring the autumn winter and spring ones and these were past issues so I was sent these and I'm just looking forward to going through them and um, just getting some some work done today it's a little bit different kind of work because I was I was a friend of mine requested that I write out two poems from his late wife and then um, paint some roses some pink roses so that is right up my alley I love painting the pink roses so I'm going to sit down and do that um, I have some wonderful inspiration I was actually looking through these and I just found some really lovely inspiration from it look at this her paintings are just beautiful I loved them so I am just I mean I look at different things here and there just to gain some inspiration as far as formations for flowers go um, so anyway I need to sit down and do that probably first thing this morning that way I could just have it done I can take it with me and then after we um, go to the movies tonight we'll be near his home so I would like to drop it off there but we're also going to the movies with his son so I could just give it to him and ask if he could take it there but I mean I don't want to impose on him so I'll just We'll probably just take it ourselves. Um, anyway, I'm gonna make some bacon and eggs. That's what Jorge would like this morning. And I also have some anytime potatoes that I like to make. I made those yesterday, so I'll probably reheat those. And that's about it. So the house is nice and in order. I made sure to do that last night before I went to bed. I put my house to bed as well and um, I watered all my plants this morning. I filled up all the feeders. And I still need to roll my hair this morning. So I just plugged in my rollers. I'm letting that heat up. And then I'm going to roll my hair and get to work and just um, let that sit for a while. Like my hair is not completely, completely dry yet, but um, it's getting there. So that is the plan for right now. Um, and then this dress right here this is one of the dresses in my shop so if you are interested in this i will have my dress shop linked in the description box below it's on it's in poshmark and um, make sure to use the invite code if you do go that route and that's about it i mean you know it's time to get busy This video was brought to you by our patrons and all those who've purchased from the Inspired by Nikki store. Thank you. I'm grateful for all of my returning subscribers. Your continued support and kind words are an inspiration to me. I want to welcome you if you are new and invite you to subscribe to be inspired daily to make the everyday beautiful.